Hey guys, um, I'm back. It's been a while since I made the last video. I've been super duper busy. I uh, moved to a new town, uh, started a new job. And by the way, my new job as a Ruby developer, uh, when I started making these videos, I was still coding PHP. So, uh, and the tasks I'm working on now are really uh, very interesting stuff. And that took away a lot of uh, my spare time. And I've been rowing so many competitions, regattas, and uh, a lot of things just took over. But um, I've always, uh, I always like to finish what I started. So I'm going to carry on making the videos and my apologies, uh, it's taken so long uh, to get back into the flow of things, but I'm all set up now. So. In the next four days, I'm going to wrap up everything, uh, get it to a level that is decent. And Rails 5 is out. So I've got a lot of work to do to uh, produce more Rails 5 type ready tutorials. So you've got that to look forward to. So again, sorry, it's taken so long. Um, I had so many emails from people asking for when the videos are going to be completed and I understand that. So here they are. I'm going to start uploading some um, between now and uh, the weekend for this time. So thank you and yep, that's it. So looking at the form, we have full name and email and we have message. All right, so on our table, comments table, we have message which, we, which belongs to a post and a visitor. And on the visitor table, we have ID, uh, which we are going to reference in our comments. All right, so in our show, I'm going to add a hidden field for a post ID. So when we create a new comment, we want this comment to belong to this post ID. All right, so now that is done. Now I'm going to go into our visitor table. So because we have a nested form, we're saving it to two different tables. We need to use this accepts nested attributes for. So what that does, it allows us to do something fancy in our comments controller. So when we post our comments controller, we're going to redirect the user back to the page that they came from. So let's start by using by bug and post some data here so we can preview and see what that uh, looks like. So as Steve, as usual, I'm going to have uh, params, a way of capturing data sent from our controller. So this will contain a visitor, all right? So we want to permit uh, full name and email for, uh, to be sent over. And this gives us uh, an additional attribute called comments attribute. So we're posting over visitors record along with uh, comments uh, records as well. So essentially saving into two different tables. So let's use Bybug and preview uh, this data that we're sending over and see what, look, what it looks like under the hood. So it's email and then say test um, and then submit and have a look. Uh, copy visitor comments params and paste it here and then see. So we have full name, email, comments attributes. So comments attribute has all the, the comment details uh, which is message and post ID. So control C to escape and we are we now know what's coming over and we're good to carry on. All right, so now I'm going to create an instance variable for visitor. Uh, we are going to create a new visitor object, pass in uh, params into it. And then we're going to save this record. So now this is going to save into two different tables, to visitor table and to comments table, all thanks to accepts um, attributes nested attributes and it will redirect us back onto the view all right so let's have a look i'm going to fill the forms in so this is the visitor record uh, visitor record and then we have a comment uh, record here okay we click on submit and it says kingsley Jama commented 34 minutes ago so the record is saved but there is um there's an error in the timing um, there. So what we are going to do is just have um, have a look at the at the view and see why. I think we are showing the time 
when the post was created, not when the comment was created. So on line 18, um, you need to change post, remove that and change it to comment. Okay. All right. So now we should have, so it was created a minute ago, how time flies. Okay. So we have um, ability to fill in username, uh, full name, full name, email, post, um, and save into comments. So this is done. So in the next, we'll work on this section. So to quickly summarize what we've done, we've added post ID as hidden field, we've used acceptance of the attributes for, and uh, which gives us this here, and we were able to create a new vista and redirect back. So I'll see you in the next lesson.